For an AP humerus, we're going to be at a 40 inch SID. We're going to be using a 14 by 17 cassette. We're going to put this in here portrait. We're going to be centered to the mid humerus. Her elbow is here, her shoulder is here, so we're about um, centered there. My phone. Congratulations, Emma. Thank you. So on this one, you want the hand um, externally rotated in a sup supinated position. You're going to include the shoulder and the elbow. You're going to increase your collimation so you just have a little bit of light on the inside and outside. Just leave enough room for your marker. The respiration for this one is suspended. So for the lateral humerus, um, we're still in the same position for um, the AP. So this time what we're going to do is kind of chicken wing them. And we're going to bring the back of the hand out so that way we're still on the same plane here. I'm going to straighten this out so I can um, readjust here. I'm going to caulk the tube so that it matches the long axis of the arm. We are lined up to the bucky. We have the elbow and the shoulder joint included. Um, it's important to kind of get the patient's arm so that the um, epicondyles of the humerus are superimposed as much as you can. The respiration phase for this one is going to be suspended. <laughs>